you watch where you're going? My apologies. Well, hello there. The name's Steve, and might I say that it doesn't take a genius to see how gorgeous you are. But if it did, I'd be overqualified. Gross. Tough break, bro, but it could have been worse. Chuck was sad on today. Again? Did he say anything this time? Does he ever? I think his communication system was busted when he crash landed on Earth. Jim, where did we go wrong? What do you mean? Go wrong with what? Excuse me. Beep. What's wrong with him? He doesn't talk to strangers. How may I be of assistance, my lady? Uh, yeah, I have a question over here. Every time. Shut up. What are you going to learn? Learn what? No girl's ever going to fall for your pickup lines. Or your creepy comments. Hey, they're not creepy. I just say it like it is. Well, maybe you should find a different way to say it. Perhaps in a way that doesn't end in a restraining order? Ugh, I'm so bored. Why? I thought you liked this job because it was easy. I never said I liked it. Just, <clears throat> just having to help pay my tuition. What's wrong with the help desk? Nothing. It's just, I want a job that actually makes a difference. I don't, I want to be somebody, just not some nerd. No offense. I would say none taken, but that actually was pretty offensive. Right, Chuck? You know what I mean. Don't you ever wish we were the popular ones? You know, the ones that got the girl. <laughs> Why would you want a girl like that when you can make one online? Now who's the creepy one? Hello, this is Jim. Okay. We'll be right back. Road call. Finally. Now, oh, wait a sec. I gotta get my other tie. There's a stain on this one. I always keep a spare tie. Wait. Handcuffs? Pepper spray? Jim, what is all this stuff? Dave Self's defense was having a sale. You can't be too careful these days. Don't you watch the news? You do know you're not allowed to have any of this here, right? Come on, it's not like I'm going to use any of it. Besides, just having it makes me awesome. Um, what's with the lotion? If you must know, I have sensitive hands. Not to mention, ladies love a guy with soft hands. Wow, too many comments just came to mind. I, I don't know which one to pick. Whatever, let's just get going. You know, someone actually noticed us and recognized us for what we did? Well, actually, I, I was talking about the cutie in the second row, but yeah, that, that was something. Why can't we do that more often? We're just techies. No one really needs us anymore. People can pretty much solve their own computer problems these days. Maybe that's it. Maybe we just need to do something that will force them to need us again. What did you have in mind? What if now, hear me out. What if someone were to release a virus on the interface? Think of how much they would need us then. Well, unless you were going to sell some sort of antivirus software, I don't see that would help us. In fact, I don't see it being much of a problem at all. Most people have a standard antivirus software. I know the school computers do. What if it was coded so that only the maker 
could remove it. I still don't see how that provides a solution to our current predicament. What if we were the ones who knew how to remove it? Well, that would be impossible. Unless you're implying that we were the ones who... Wait, you're not saying... No. Yes! No, 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 no. Bad things happen to nerds that mess with interface viruses. Oh, come on, Jim, Chuck, think of it. We'd be heroes, somebodies. People would see us again. We'd be entities again. Think of it, gentlemen. Gone would be the days of wedgies and swirlies. Gone would be the days of being neglected behind this desk. Gone would be the days of being trampled and sat on. My fellow nerds, I promise you a better tomorrow. But first, you must join me. Nope, sorry Steve, not gonna do it. Fine, at least help me mess with some of the projectors tonight, just so we have something to fix tomorrow. You know, unlike you, I'm perfectly content sitting here, not doing anything. Come on. Sour Patch, stop being such a wimp. Okay, fine, I'll come. But only to make sure you don't screw up anything major. Yes! Okay, guys, we'll be back here at 10.30 tonight just so we have enough time to hide before they lock up. Fine. Okay, guys. I think the coast is clear. You guys ready? I guess I am, but I want it noted that I think this is a bad idea. Your concerns are noted. You ready, Chuck? Is he even alive? I'm not even sure he's human. So what's the plan? Okay, Jim, you take care of the rooms on the east wing, I'll take care of the ones on the west. Chuck, you do whatever it is you're doing. We'll be back here in 30 minutes. I, I have a question. Yes? Can I use the bathroom? Are you kidding? You couldn't go before our super secret awesome mission? I told you, being in cramped spaces makes me have to pee. Fine, whatever, let's just get moving. Man, I have never felt more alive. I know, I felt like Chief Bond back there. <laughs> I know, right? I like the, the face paint, it's a nice touch. Oh, thank you, and might I say, those shades make you look pretty hardcore. Hmm, I do, don't I? Hey Chuck, what is that? Whatever. <clears throat> well, all this sneaking around has got me pretty tired. I think we've done enough damage here for one night. I'll see you in the morning. Alright, see ya. Last night was awesome. I know, such an adrenaline rush. Well, it's nine o'clock. Time for the first class to start. You ready? I was born ready. And our first helpless client calling for us to save the day. Hello, this is Jim. How might I save your, I, I, uh, I mean, uh, how can I be of assistance? Uh, no, we wouldn't want any Kid Scout cookies. Ooh, ooh, I, I, I would like some cookies. Hold on a sec, what? Um, I want uh, some of those, um, oh, a box of uh, shortbread cookies. A actually, can I, can I get a box of shortbread cookies? Uh, you know what, you know what, no, um, spin mint, I want uh, spin mint cookies. Can I change that to spin mint cookies? 
Sorry about that. Mm hmm. Alright, thank you. You too. You're ridiculous, you know that? What? I love me some Kid Scout cookies. Hello, this is Jim. How can I help you? No, I would not like to buy a subscription for Tech for Nerds magazine. Oh! Shut up. No, n not you, sir. Well, you're not a delight to talk to either. Oh, please, you do not have a robot that'll seek out and destroy me. Yeah, well, you probably live in your mom's basement. Actually, I don't. I live on a dorm. I'm not telling you which dorm. Look, I don't have time for this. Goodbye. We never get phone calls here. And the one day we're expecting a call, we are bombarded with telemarketers. I swear, if this is another person trying to sell me Hello, this is Jim. How may I be of assistance? Oh, uh, yes, sir. We'll, we'll be right there. No problem. Well, Steve, you got your wish. Time to start working on those projectors. Yes. Just you wait, Jim. People are finally going to show us the respect we deserve. Thank you so much, gentlemen. Your work is greatly appreciated. See, what did I tell you? They love us. Yeah, I kind of had fun being out on the field again. <laughs> Not to mention we're pretty much the coolest guys on campus. <laughs> Whoa. gotten my password for my computer. Is there any way you can help me? Baby, there's a lot I can do to help you. Wait a second, aren't you that guy that fixed that projector in my history class? My name's Steve and uh, might I say that you're one of the most exquisite creatures I've ever laid eyes on. <laughs> well, Steve, that was some impressive work you did there. Here's my number. How about you give me a call sometime? Excuse me. I said, can you help me fix my computer? Uh, exquisite uh, creature? Um, uh, never mind. I think I can figure it out myself. Smooth move, buddy. It didn't work. What, all your spittering and sputtering? Yeah, no duh. No, I meant us fixing all the projectors. It didn't make us the heroes we're supposed to be. Oh my word, you need to let all the hero stuff go. You read too many comic books. Oh, come on, Jim. You know what it felt like getting all that applause. It was exhilarating. Now imagine that times 10. I already told you, we're not planning that virus. Jim, it's completely safe. Besides, I know you like sneaking around here last night. I can see it in your eyes. As long as you're sure that it's safe. 100% safe. You'll have that virus ready by tonight, right, Chuck? Okay, fine. I'm in. Yes! All right, so we'll meet back here same time as last night. Okay. Okay, good. Everyone's here. Did you make sure you weren't followed? Followed? Why would anyone follow me? Jim, you're putting the whole mission in jeopardy. Everything's fine. I wasn't followed. But how can you be sure? Steve, I wasn't followed. Let's get on with it. Fine. Wait a second. Jim, you're shaking. Why are you shaking? I don't know. Maybe I'm having second thoughts about this whole virus thing. Or maybe it's the fact that, once again, I am in a cramped space, causing me to have to be more than a resource. Seriously, you might have a bladder condition. You might want to get that checked out. Is that virus almost ready, Chuck? 
Steve, I actually am having second thoughts about this whole virus thing. I just don't have a good feeling. These things can be unpredictable. Jim, we know exactly what will happen. Once we upload it from Chuck's laptop, it will infect every computer here one at a time without a trace of where it came from. Your program is complete. Hit the enter key to upload. Oh, it's ready. Chuck, you've really outdone yourself. By this time tomorrow, gentlemen, we will be kings among mere mortals. Steve, don't do it. There are other ways of getting noticed. The risks aren't worth it. Hit enter to upload. Maybe you're right, Jim. I'm just tired. I'm tired of being mediocre. I'm tired of being a loser. Steve, you're not a loser. You're smart and intelligent and, um... Amazingly good looking. Don't push it. But more importantly, you're graduating in a couple of months. Do you really want to ruin your entire future for some girls that you're not even going to remember in a couple of years? I guess you're right. You're a good friend, Jim. Chuck, I know you worked hard on this, so it's only fitting if you're the one who destroys it. Program deleted. You idiot, I told you you were followed. What? Why? How? Yo, so you really know how to change the grades in the teacher's grade book? Oh, yes, sir. I took a computer science class last semester just for something like this. Did you hear that? I know. Ted actually took a computer science class. He seems too dumb for that. Not that, the part about them changing their answers. We gotta do something. Well, look who's jumping on the moral bandwagon all of a sudden. Hey, they're cheating. I was just going to release a harmless virus. Whatever, shut up. We gotta do something. Do something? Like what? I don't know. Go confront them or something. Confront them? What are you, nuts? Still will tear us to shreds. Jim, do you remember all those times as a kid when you dreamed of being a hero? Well, now's our chance of becoming heroes. Steve! Steve, get back here! Steve, what are you, crazy? <laughs> Goodbye, 67. Hello, 100. <laughs> okay, okay, change my... Hurry up, hurry up. Wow. You're right. You're huge. You can't do this. What was I thinking? I told you, I have sensitive hands. When I get nervous, they sweat. When they sweat, they get sensitive. Listen to me, both of you. I'm tired of hearing you guys crying and complaining. Is that me, or did, did Chuck just talk? Shut up, Megan. You two are always talking about how you want something big to happen, a chance to make a difference. And then when the opportunity presents itself, you want to run away like little girls. Well, that's a little harsh, don't you think? Shut up! Now you listen to me, and you listen good. We're gonna catch these guys, do you hear me? Do you hear me? Yes. Okay, I've, I've got a plan. But you have to do exactly what I say. First, Jim, give me your lotion. Well, 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 what do we have here? Looks like a couple no-good punks trying to cheat their way to the top. You know, Jim, I wonder what would happen to these gentlemen's scholarships if the school found out that they were cheating. Kid, you know what's good for you? You keep your nerdy, nasty mouth shut. Ooh, I'm so scared. Under run! Pretty much sums it up. Okay, well, I've got your statements here. You're free to go. Thank you, sir.
mighty fine work, gentlemen. On behalf of the university, I would like to extend our deepest gratitude to each of you for what you accomplished here tonight. Believe me, it was no small feat. Psst, it, was, it was nothing. I am curious about just one thing, though. What were you all doing in the computer lab when you saw these miscreants sneak into the building? Um, well, actually, we, sir. We were asleep. All three of us fell asleep, and uh, we didn't realize it's time to go home. Uh, we're sorry about that, sir. It won't happen again. I see. Well, under the circumstances, I think we can let it slide this time. Thank you very much, sir. Nice one, Chuck. Where'd you come up with that? I don't know. I guess I'm just full of surprises. Guess so. Well, I think we've had enough excitement for one night. See you guys tomorrow. See ya. See ya. Hey, what's up, guys? Oh, the usual. Chuck's back to his normal self. So, last night was real, right? Th that wasn't a dream. I think that letter should be proof enough. It's from President Buckshank. Gentlemen, thank you once again for helping the university out immensely last night. We greatly appreciate what you did and what you continue to do on a regular basis. Signed, President Buckshank. Donuts? That's all we get are donuts? Whatever, man. Just be great. Eh, yeah. Excuse me. Are you Chuck? Um, no, he is. We heard about what you did last night. That was really brave of you. Oh, well, thank you, ladies. We're just going to lunch. Do you want to join us? I most certainly would. I'll see you guys later. I'm going to go take an early lunch. What just happened? I don't know. Unbelievable. I know, right? We had just as much a hand in capturing those guys as he did. Yeah. Hey, wait a sec. You know what I'm thinking? Those girls probably have friends. People have friends. Hey Chuck, wait up! 